Hey guys, welcome back to Pax and Pretzels. I'm your host, Avi, and let's have some fun today on episode two. We're gonna eat some pretzels. I'm gonna give you a review on the Super Pretzel Soft Sticks. They're always great. I know a lot of people say they're kinda like the bottom feeder of the pretzel game, but hey, I mean, they're cheese filled, so they're pretty amazing. Uh, also got a package from eBay. Gonna open that up. I'm also going to share my best pulls of 2020 so far with you guys. So let's do it. Alright guys, we got those pretzels cooked up. Look at that. Just hot and sizzling right now. We're going to let them cool off for a second. Give you guys a nice little review on that. But first, well these are cooling off. Let's go ahead and open this up. Got a uh, tin on eBay because I was like, you know, I got a lot of cards again. Gotta start kind of storing them somewhere. I got a, I got a binder. I use a binder as well, but um, some stuff I just like in the top loader. So let's get this open. Oh, camera is shaking. Sorry about that. And here we go. So, I'm a 90s guy. I was born in 1990 and I thought this was pretty cool. I saw this um, online and it is a Skybox basketball tin. Um, and it actually, you know, you I could have bought the unopened set. came with the complete... 1991, 1990 uh, Skybox uh, tin, but this is actually just an empty tin I got. Just wanted something cool to store my cards in instead of like your regular shoe box. So, thought this was neat. Take a look at it. Got some players on the back. Uh, a bunch of guys I've never heard of. I mean, I was just born in 1990 so I don't know how I would have. We got Sam Vincent and Bernard King. Got this sweet Spalding NBA ball. Some guys on the back. Um, Cliff Robinson. Vaguely remember him. But hey there's John Stockton. Jordan's nemesis. Really enjoyed the uh, whole look of the tin. It's the uh, original Skybox logo uh, back when they were a brand licensed to sell basketball cards. It's the inaugural edition, so I thought that was neat. I was born in 1990, and this was like, you know, their first Skybox basketball card release. So I thought that was neat. Pretty big tin. Open it up, take a look. Looks like you can fit a lot of cards. You can even take out this kind of holder thing they put in there and you see it's a really big tin pretty nice really big it'll definitely come in handy to store a bunch of cards so yeah that's the tin I got pick this up for pretty cheap on eBay it's nice just uh, a cool little piece of basketball history, you know. Now, yeah, so I showed you guys what that tin looked like, showed you guys what some of those cards looked like from back then, and what's kind of neat is I actually <coughs> went through my collection and I found that I actually have a cards from that set, and just wanted to go ahead and show you guys that, and what's really neat is I got a rookie Gary Payton card from that set. Go ahead and take a look at that. Pretty neat. It's the glove. And then they used to do these like team cards, which is kind of cool. I got this Chicago Bulls uh, team card here, which is neat. Big Bulls fan, so always nice to kind of have something like that in the collection. Got another cool card from that 1990 uh, Skybox set. Got the Zen Master, Phil Jackson himself, 
Look at how young that guy looks. Uh, don't ever remember him being that young. That must have been right after uh, they fired Doug Collins and he became the coach. Kind of a cool card, not in mint condition or anything like that. Um, just uh, pulled it out of a pack once. So those were how some of those cards looked from that 1990. Uh, Inaugural Skybox Fleer Edition set, and uh, as you can see, I have uh, pretty much one of the coolest rookie cards from that set, being a rookie Gary Payton. And then I wanted to show you guys my best pulls of 2020 so far, and uh, show you what I'm going to be putting in that tin, pretty much. So let's get started. Um, I'm really big on the NBA hoops, uh, just from a cost standpoint, and... Um, I just, I enjoy that nostalgia factor it gives me, it brings me back to kind of being a kid. Um, so I grabbed some of these, uh, I grabbed a box actually from Target, I grabbed a blaster box and out of my first blaster box, this was kind of my big pull, I got this Kawhi Leonard uh, rookie game used card and uh, that, that just got me so excited, it was neat. Grab the grab the last box and you know I'm able to pull a Kawhi game use so I thought that was cool. Some other cool stuff I've pulled so far this year. Obviously I'm a big Bulls fan. Love them. Uh, kind of followed them my whole life. You know I'm diehard. You know I'm diehard as it gets. So pull these out of a, a pack. Fresh out of a pack. Uh, I got the. Chandler Hutchinson rookie, and then I even got a uh, Lori Markinen rookie, and uh, I got a uh, I got a Wendell rookie. So we kind of got like our little future right here. Um, I know a lot of non-Bulls fans don't know too much about Chandler. Um, he he looked really good the couple games he was healthy. So you know who who knows? Hopefully during this. Uh, this corona time he has nothing but time to get better and then of course we got the uh, finisher over here got the Lowry rookie got the former Dukey Wendell Carter it's definitely some young Bulls talent right there always nice to grab some fresh rookies out of a pack that was definitely a cool feeling um, I remember I went to uh, I went to a I went to Meyer I love going to Meyer uh, and just kind of grabbing their packs and uh, I kind of made a little tradition, just run into the mire, and uh, they got a little Aunt Annie's built in there, so I'd always grab some packs and go grab some pretzels, and that's kind of how I started doing this thing, you know, packs and pretzels, so hey. So yeah, that's uh, those are some of the sweet Bulls cards I've pulled so far. I'll be showcasing my Bulls collection uh, over the next course of the videos. Uh, it's growing. It's really nice. It, my, my goal is for uh, my entire Bulls collection to tell the history of the Bulls. Um, I'm also uh, big on personally collecting Duke guys. Uh, huge Duke fan growing up. Kind of got to live out my dream. Got a professional certificate in digital marketing from Duke. So it's kind of neat. I'm putting that to use by making this ch channel. And... Um, I also personally collect a lot of Kings players. I'm a big uh, Kings fan. I was kind of anti-Lakers in the early 2000s. Um, kind of wanted to see them dethroned after they kind of won a couple of them. So, and I'm a big Vivek Ranade fan. It's always nice to see um, you know the uh, Indian community getting involved in the NBA in any fashion. So it's nice. It's really neat that you know. Um, He's involved in such a facet that he's an owner, and uh, he's really trying to get the Indian culture involved. You know, having like those Bollywood nights and things. And got another guy I'm big on, Bobo. Love Bobo. Um, he actually was on assignment to the Windy City Bulls because the Denver Nuggets don't have a G League team, interestingly. And um, I actually made it out to. Uh, the season opener for the Windy City Bulls. Never been to a G League uh, game. Only been to NBA. 
but recently I was like, you know, I, I kind of want to go experience basketball at every level, so kind of began to do that and went to that Windy City Bulls game. Obviously, Bull Bull wasn't there, but an amazing experience. I mean, you literally feel like you're at a Bulls game almost. Uh, these guys play hard. I saw Max Struess. I met Max Struess. Um, I actually got an autographed ball from him, spoke to him for a little bit, so that was cool. You know, always neat when you meet a Chicago legend that kind of makes it to that next level. You know, two-way player on the Bulls. But back to Bull Bull. He's, he was playing on the Windy City Bulls a good amount. And uh, I actually did see a couple of his games. And this guy is absolute monster. Like, I'm talking, he hit, like, three threes, like, in the course of, like, four or five minutes. Had, like, three block shots. You know, grabbing, like, six boards. Absolute monster. Uh, I think he's going to be a huge upside. Um, definitely see why the Nuggets took the dice roll on him, kind of like they did with Michael Porter Jr. Uh, I remember I was upset, you know, even the Bulls at, I think, 38. Uh, 38, they picked, uh, 38 or 39, they picked uh, Gafford instead, Daniel Gafford. Not that Gafford's not uh, been great for us, but he is definitely not Bobo. Um, so yeah, I got the uh, Panini Contenders draft pick rookie right here. Thought that was definitely sweet. I love how uh, Panini Contenders, uh, their base cards look on these. They're, they're really sweet. Um, and then I got another NBA Hoops Winter Parallel Bobo. And um, got a uh, NBA Hoops Regular Bobo rookie. And then uh, I was uh, rating Meyer again as usual trying to grab some packs and pretzels and I grabbed a couple blaster boxes of upper um, panini status and uh, pulled the uh, Grayson Allen hollow orange rookie and their regular Grayson Allen rookie so that was nice another Duke guy I think he could be a real nice integral piece for the Jazz um, Jazz are a great hot team. I love all NBA teams, love all basketball, but definitely first and foremost, always a big Bulls fan. But I think the Jazz, they are going to be a hot young team. I don't know if you guys were following uh, Team USA at all uh, during the FIBA World Cup this past summer, but uh, Donovan Mitchell, God, can that guy play? I think the Jazz are going to be a championship contender soon. This is probably the best pull I've had so far this year besides the Zion rookies. I pulled, uh, pulled this Luka rookie on my birthday. I was like, man, can't, can't ask for a better pull out of a 18-19 pack of, uh, you know, Panini status. You know, you pull, pull a Luka rookie. It's like that's what everyone's chasing out of the 18-19 uh, packs and 19-20. Everyone wants those, uh, those Zions. And then, uh, also pulled some uh, Roy Hachimura. I thought that was cool. Um, him being the first Japanese player in the NBA. And, uh, you know, he's signed to the Jordan brand. I think he's going to be huge for the Wizards. Uh, I actually saw the Wizards play the Bulls this year. Uh, that was my, my lone NBA game I caught in 2020 before everything got postponed. Got so lucky. Uh, went and saw them play the Bulls on my dad's birthday. Took him to see that. So that was pretty neat. I was actually supposed to go see the uh, Bulls play the Clippers for my birthday on April 8th. So yeah, uh, big Kings collector. Big Duke collector. Big, big, big Bulls fan. I think the uh, only bigger Bulls fan might be Benny. Benny the Bull. <laughs> but yeah, so here, I'm going to show you guys uh, some more of the best stuff I've pulled so far this year. Um, we might as well call him Mr. Cameron Crazy himself. Got a couple Zions. This is actually pretty sweet. These are the only two Zions I've pulled. I got the uh, regular rookie and then the uh, winter pal parallel. And uh, those are uh, pretty sweet. Pulled them out of a pack. The, the rush you get was just absolutely amazing. You know, I mean, everyone's chasing Zion. And then when you actually get them, it's like, oh, my God. That just really happened. Uh, I know it's not like one of those crazy one-of-ones or, you know, one of those, like, prism pulsar, green pulsars, whatever, you know, that are selling for a couple hundred grand on eBay. 
but uh, they're sweet, you know, just some nice uh, basic Zion rookies. Got some more of the Duke guys, of course. I, uh, I pulled some RJ Barrett, that was nice. Got uh, his Winter Parallel rookie right there, and then got his uh, rookie Hoops Tribute Parallel. Kind of neat. And then um, also got uh, the other Duke player that many of us forgot about in the draft, uh, Cam Reddish. You know, really hope he has a great career. He's looking pretty good in Atlanta. Hey guys, also forgot to show you some of my other best pulls from 2020 so far. Uh, pulled a lot of jaw compared to uh, Zion. Got the uh, Panini Certified Rookie, got the uh, Prism Rookie, got the Donruss, NBA Hoops, and uh, randomly on the same page, I got a Carmen Electra Rookie and a uh, Kevin Durant Rookie. So yeah, here we go. Just what you'd expect. Very um, chewy, kind of has a rubbery texture. I mean, you did throw them in the microwave. Um, but boy, that cheese filling makes up for everything. Worth every single penny. Yeah, I was pumped to go uh, see that Bulls Clippers game. You know, go see the Staples Center. Uh, you know, obviously I planned that long before, you know, everything happened with Kobe. Um, but it, it would have, you know, would have just been really neat to go to the Staples Center. I kind of consider that like one of the, the meccas of uh, basketball per se. Um, but obviously, there's no basketball, so we got plenty of uh, other stuff to look forward to, like that Last Dance documentary. So real quickly again, just gonna show you guys a quick recap of those Bulls rookies I had pulled again. Got the the Chandler, the Lowry, and Wendell. Um, pretty excited right now. Obviously, a lot of you guys know the uh, Bulls are getting close to uh, hiring Carson, Carson Carson Nova, I believe that's how you pronounce it, the uh, GM over at the Nuggets. So that should be pretty sweet. Finally, see Gar Pax go. Hopefully. But alright guys, that does it for this video, and uh, look forward to doing another mail day video with you guys soon, and definitely be on the lookout. Um, I got some packs coming in from Hawaii, hopefully pretty soon. Um, just check the shipping update. Say they're still in Honolulu in the Aloha State, it's supposed to come Monday, hopefully they do come Monday. Um, if that's the case, all my subscribers, be ready. We're going to be doing a live pack war. I got my buddy Edwin coming by. He is really excited. This is going to be his first time ever ripping packs open. Um, he's trying to go after some Jordan stuff. We're all pretty excited. Try and maybe get some Zion. We'll see. Um, so, yeah. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe. So that way you know when my live break is going to happen. And then um, please hit the like button, leave a comment, let me know what you guys think.